Romans chapter 14, verses 5 and 6. One man esteemeth one day above another, another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. He that regardeth the day regardeth it unto the Lord, and he that regardeth, regardeth not the day to the Lord he doth not regard it. He that eateth eateth to the Lord, for he giveth God thanks, and he that eateth not to the Lord he eateth not, and giveth God thanks. So the purpose of me reading this uh, Bible verse was uh, to point out uh, what the Apostle Peter was saying here in Romans is if you, if you choose to celebrate a holiday, it is no sin. If you choose not to celebrate a holiday, it is no sin. Neither keeping of the Sabbath, it's no longer required for salvation. Now, a lot of people will argue that Halloween is that celebrating Halloween is a sin, that it's worshiping demons, monsters, whatever, what have you. Um, yes, that what that is what it was a long time ago. Halloween is not that now. It it's just become a day where kids dress up and uh, go door to door to get candy. Nothing, no more, no less. Sure, do we talk about monsters and scary things during Halloween? Yes, but there's nothing sinful about that in and of itself and most people don't worship these things so therefore this is not a sin anyways guys in this video i was going to show the footage of me drawing the last three prompts for inktober but before i went and did that i decided to quote this verse because it was something i felt led to do anyways guys all right let's get started So this first one was uh, during day 29, and that prompt was injured, so I decided to do this one on, on an inside joke between me and my girlfriend. We go to the same school, and I make a joke about how I'm going to punch the computer and break my hand because I'm mad at it, and she tells me I'm not allowed. So I decided to draw my hand in a cast, and her saying basically that I that she said I wasn't allowed to do that. And when I showed it to her, she got a kick out of it, so it was all, it was all fun. I want to get through this footage as fast as possible to attack the light or give any time to reveal anything. But uh, tomorrow I will show basically a montage of these, of all my Inktober drawings and not just these three. Out of all these, I'd say this one took the least amount of time. So this next one is of Peter and the other disciples fishing. Uh, day 31, not day 31, day 30, the prompt is catch. And uh, I think I pulled it off pretty well. Uh, it's not exact, it didn't end up exactly as I was going for it, but beggars can't be choosers. And overall, I was pretty pleased with the result result and now my inking skills are a lot better because of it and uh i tried to have as many of these uh prompts to be uh, faith-based as i can uh there's only a few where i saw that like it immediately fit although you can uh apply the gospel to anything you do in life and I think the gospel should be applied to anything we do in life. Of course, uh, I haven't found a way to do this uh, completely, but I pray that God leads me in that direction. He has been leading me in that direction, and I know that He will continue. In the meantime, though, uh, I'm doing the best I can. And uh, now that Inktober is about to be over, I'll have more free time, and I can move on to other things with the channel and with my personal life as well. Uh, Inktober, although Inktober is fun, it does take away my, a lot of my free time, even though I did most of my Inktober at night, trying to spend as much time doing other things as I can.
And I usually end up reading the Bible right after that before I go to sleep. So out of all three of these drawings, the this one of Peter and the disciples probably took the longest. Uh, I remember being uh, very satisfied and relieved when I was done with it. Uh, and I would love to show some techniques that were used in the making of these drawings, but I couldn't go in depth with these because they were going to take a while, and I knew that if I tried going in depth with each of these videos every day, it would get really boring really quickly, and nobody would really want to watch them. Uh, I got a small channel, so anything that looks uh, in your face is going to come off as a turn off as to any new viewer to this channel, and that's the last thing my channel needs if it wants to grow. It's not all about the numbers for me. In fact, I'd rather be, I'd rather have few subscribers that at least want to be here than a bunch of, you know, people who subscribe because they feel like they have to or because they feel some sort of obligation. That's not what I want this channel to be about. I want this channel to spread as much joy and godly love as possible. Uh, and I think most I thank most of you for being a part of that and 30 of you guys for some reason find what I do inspiring entertaining or whatever else and uh, I want you guys to know that you guys are that number I, I, I have not subscribed to my channel with separate accounts or anything like that uh, and I, I, I am grateful for you guys and God has truly blessed me to be part of this to have a channel on YouTube where I can glorify him and do what I love at the same time. I am kicking this video into further time lapse. I finished up with a drawing of Jesus on the shore. I tried to do that one where Jesus instructed them from off the boat and the disciples didn't recognize him. That one was really cool. I thought that would be cool to do, especially since I didn't want to insult. I didn't want to feel like I was insulting Jesus by not drawing him in good detail, so I put him in a, a place where I didn't have to. But I, I still respect our Lord and Savior, and I'll still draw him. But each drawing I do of him, it does feel kind of empty. And finally, the last prompt was uh, right. So I drew a jack o' lantern next to a tree. Now, I don't know if that necessarily qualifies as right, but seeing as it's Halloween, I felt it was most appropriate to do something very Halloween y like a jack o' lantern. And uh, yeah, I think I'll end most of my inktobers in the future with something of this nature. Uh, I guess make it a new tradition for myself. I'm gonna try to do Inktober every year if I can for as long as it remains fun. And I apologize again for not doing these videos in real time. I would love to, but I'm just not skilled and I, I don't have the tech for it. So I mostly, I was mostly winging it in this drawing, I didn't really have a plan behind it, all I knew is that I wanted to draw a pumpkin, and I also wrote a note on this uh, drawing afterwards, uh, you can't see it on the video, but uh, God actually blessed me today, I was able to hang out with my girlfriend, and we had a, we had a really good time, this was definitely a Halloween to remember, we didn't go out or trick or trick or treat or anything <laughs> which would kind of be funny but it has become more of a teen thing today because a lot of people are scared to take their kids out trick or treating but I still had a good time and uh, I just thank God for 
blessing me like that. So the letter was, I mean, the note I wrote was both to him and her, uh, thanking her for hanging out with me and thanking God for arranging it, thanking God for letting it happen, thanking God for letting her and I meet. Uh, this has been a really great year so far, and uh, I enjoyed Inktober. I feel it's furthered my journey as an artist, and uh, it'll definitely benefit me in the future, and I hope I can also use it to benefit God, or at least glorify Him. That's what I meant. Now I'm gonna just let the rest of the footage show itself, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. I will see you in tomorrow's video where I show all of my October videos. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. God bless.